There are two ways to embed Google Calendar to Notion, but before we take a closer look and figure out how to actually do this, you need to know two things. Number one is that you will need to make your Google Calendar public, meaning that anybody with the link will be able to access all of your data, but not make changes to it. And number two, when you embed Google Calendar to Notion, you will not be able to add events or to make changes. If this is not a deal breaker to you, then keep watching and let's take a look at the very first use use case embedding Google Calendar natively to Notion. So here we have Google Calendar and you need to go to settings over here and then pick your calendar. Here we have demo Bardeen calendar and here you need to enable the public access. So make available to public hit OK. So now anybody with a link will be able to see all of your events and scroll down. And here you will find the embed code. Let's select it, copy it. And then you can go to your Notion page. Add the embed block with the slash command, embed it, and literally just paste it here. Let's check it out. Okay, so here we have it. It's localized to where I'm at right now. So I'm in Israel. Here you have the month view. You also have the week view and then you have uh, the daily agenda view. And this is pretty much it, it's that easy. And now let's take a look at the second method. We're going to be embedding Google Calendar, but using a relay tool called Indify. So here I have it in front of us and it allows you to create different types of widgets and embed them in Google Calendar. You can explore what other automations Indify has. And let's first sign in with Google and then you'll have the gallery of different embeds. Let's pick the account that we're interested in. Boom, and we are in celebration. No, thank you. Here you have the live progress bar, the weather widget, and we have Google Calendar. Let's create the widget, give it a title, demo calendar, hit enter. We have the puppy swimming in water. How cool is that? Then you do the uh, sign in with Google, pick the calendar over here, give them all of the access in the world, click on continue, and you'll be able to customize a number of things. So again, this Indify app is going to pull all of the data, they're going to render it in a nice way so you can see all of this data in a nicer format compared to the first method. So, okay, here we have our calendar, you can select a specific one that you want to embed or select multiple. You have different views. Let's do the weekly view. And this is a premium feature. If you want to see a number of weeks back or ahead into the future. So let's see what happens if you click on the upgrade button. You have to pay $4, four entire dollars every month. How crazy is that? I'm just kidding. Uh, it's, not, it's not that bad if you care about embedding Google Calendar to Notion, then this is this is an option. And there's a free version of it, which is which is really cool. Or 40 bucks a year, 42 to be precise. You have different views. So we start on Monday, obviously in the European time zone. That's that's how people live. Hide view selector. Okay. 24 hour format. Sign me up. All right, let's show event borders. Let's customize the color. I want to make it black. Okay, you can set the background color. It's not going to change automatically, but you can change the background color if you want and show customize button. No, thank you. We're going to copy this embed link, go to our third tab over here in Notion and repeat the process and compare the results. So here we have embed block paste the link over here and let's see the magic happen. So here is our calendar. Let's expand it a little bit. And where is my event? There it is. The upcoming meeting. Here's all the information I need, the status, the calendar. All right. 
And there we have it. The first option with the native Google Calendar embed will allow you to see all of your events into the future and in the past absolutely for free. But you will have to sacrifice the aesthetics because it does look pretty ugly. And number two, the link will be public. Whereas with Indify, you will be able to entirely customize the way your calendar looks like, but you will sacrifice four entire dollars a month or $42 a year. For more awesome tutorials just like this one about automating your manual work, productivity, and saving yourself time, make sure to subscribe to this channel, hit the like button, and I'm going to see you in the next video. Cheers.